Hey, semi-final four of Norway's Melody Grand Prix is on, and we are super excited to have another act that features the yoik, the magical yoik sounds. They are Marianne and Mikkel with the song Pages, and they are gonna answer some of our questions right now. Hello! Marianne and Mikkel, welcome to MGP 2021. Could each of you introduce yourself and maybe tell us a little bit about where you're from? Uh, the ladies first. Okay. Uh, my name is Marianne Penta, and I come from a very, very small village in Norway called Os. Uh, it has about 3,000 uh, inhabitants. And my name is uh, Mikkel Gaup and I come from uh, from Alta, a village, uh, oh, well, yeah, it's a town actually, uh, up in Finnmark. Uh, in Alta lives about uh, 25,000 people and uh, I'm also from a reindeer herding family. Now this is not some random pairing. The two of you have known each other for quite some time, so you know each other really well. What is it about the other person, you know, their voice, their music, that you really like? <laughs> well, uh, I've uh, just recently heard Mikkel Joik, because uh, he has been a famous actor for many years, and I've been a fan of that. So when uh, Mikkel called me and said that he had this song that he was going to Joik on, and he wanted me to sing, I was really excited and a little anxious how this would <laughs> be. But I love his yoiking. I think he's brilliant. It's uh, very natural and, and strong and powerful. What about me? Oh, yes. <laughs> and I love your <laughs> voice and your song. Yeah, she's, she's, for the first time I saw her at um, The Voice here in Norway, I was blown away. I was like, oh my God, that woman can sing. So I was so glad that she said, Yes, to be in the in pages. I keep on moving, but I never turn pages. I never turn pages. I never turn. Never turn. I never turn pages. And you are singing the song Pages. What can you tell us about the song? What's the story or the message behind it? Well, um, it's, uh, it's about love to love. Uh, yeah. I can fill in on that as well. Um, I think what I love about this song and the lyrics and the feeling of the song is uh, that it's connecting uh, the past with the future and it's it has this historic feel to it you always have your history with you uh, when you move forward even though it could feel feel like you are uh, not moving or not getting where you where you want to go you still have that uh, support behind you of your ancestors and uh, yeah your heritage People will know this type of music, the Yoik, from Spirit in the Sky, but how would you define it? What makes it special? Uh, it's special because it's really, really, really old. Uh, and it's a Sami way to sing. And it has always been in the Sami culture. And uh, you can Yoik everything. Uh, and uh, if you want to learn it, you have to dare to do it. Um, you can have many, many types of uh, yoik expressions. Uh, today you have, for example, yes, the traditional way to yoik, but uh, uh, you also have, uh, for example, heavy yoik, and you have uh, <laughs> trance yoik, and pop yoik, uh, reggae yoik, uh, yes. Jazzy yoik, you have soul yoik, you have many, many different kinds of um, expressions uh, in, in yoik. And you can yoik everything, uh, what you dare to yoik. 
uh, and um, and it's also so that it's not uh, like that that uh, every Sami woman or Sami man can yoik. For example, the first time I learned to yoik, I was only 18 years old, and I had just um, got my first uh, part uh, in a film called The Pathfinder, uh, which it was also Oscar nominated. The first film was Oscar nominated in Norway. Um, and in that part, um, uh, I had to learn to, to yoik because I, I, I couldn't do it. So, uh, Nils. I thought you couldn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I did, uh, and I didn't have any possibilities b because I had uh, signed the contract. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I had to. I had to. I got this cassette. This is many years ago. I got this cassette, uh, and uh, it was uh, a yoik on that cassette, and uh, it was made by Nils Ashak Walkepe. And uh, um, uh, I went home, and I had free this weekend, and I started to to rehearsal. And in the beginning, it was absolutely terrible it was so terrible i remember my mom coming into my room and said excuse me are you dying <laughs> and i say no 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 i have to learn to yoik because of this film uh, and then she said that like uh, well to learn to yoik is a good thing it's a good uh, it's a good um, heritage. it's a heritage for the sami culture and uh, and uh, keep on so i i i I, I just keep on rehearsing and after one and a half hour, something happened. I started to learn it. And when I started to learn something, my self, um, uh, self, uh, self, self esteem, self -esteem uh, was growing. And when my self esteem is growing, the yoik gets better. And the, when the yoik gets better, you know, it went up and up and up and up and in the end I could my first yoik I was 18 years old and since then I have been yoiking and uh, I really I'm really proud of it and um, yeah now is a yoik something that can be learned or is it an art that you have to be born into and raised with to really master anyone can learn can learn to yoik uh, and uh, in Norway, we also have this this um, television program that we take, for example, Norwegian celebrities into the program and learn them to yoik, and that's cool. That's fun. You know, it's uh, it's that's beautiful. If you guys could teach people anything about the Sami culture, what would you want them to know? Wow. Well, that's a big question. <laughs> uh, I'm just really happy that people want to learn more about the Sami culture. It's a really rich and beautiful culture, which I'm very proud to be a part of. Uh, same with Mikkel. Uh, so I would just say, just dive into it and uh, learn and read and listen to music, watch movies and just uh, have... Uh, uh, the best time of your life getting to know the Sami people and culture. Saturday, February 6th is not just the fourth semifinal of MGP 2021. It's also Sami National Day. What's important about this holiday? How do you celebrate? It's a very important holiday. Uh, unfortunately, it's not like a, a free day off in Norway. So uh, we usually have to go to our jobs or school or something in the daytime. But um, we celebrate like all week, so we we uh, <laughs> get to celebrate anyway. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's a uh, one week uh, celebration with uh, with song, Sami songs, concerts, uh, mm -hmm. food, absolutely food, and uh, beautiful people coming together to celebrate and to to show the rest of Norway uh, who we are uh, and what we stand for, and uh, you know. Uh, people have the chance to to know us better. And Marianne, people will fondly remember you as a backing vocalist for Kano at Eurovision 2019 in Tel Aviv. What about that experience made you want to come back to the world of Eurovision? And what's your fondest memory from your time at Eurovision? Well, I've always wanted to to join MGP and Eurovision. So to be able to do that and go straight to Tel Aviv and 
be a part of that big experience. It was so overwhelmingly cool and fun. And of course, that made me just want to come back for more. So um, it's difficult to to point out one thing that was the coolest. I think maybe the um, feeling of togetherness, even though we came from all over Europe and even Australia, it felt like one big happy family. Everyone was voting and rooting for each other and it felt so, so good to be a part of that. Oh yes, absolutely. I'm a 100% fan and I took my uh, oldest son with me and we lived actually in the same hotel and we had the time of our lives. It was so great to, to be there and, and celebrate and be together in the big name of love. Mikkel, you are of course a very well-known actor. Your debut movie Pathfinder was actually nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. And there's an amazing photo of you walking the red carpet at the ceremony in Hollywood in traditional Sami clothing. Everybody was looking at you. You must have been the best dressed on the red carpet. I'm curious, what do you remember about that night? Oh my God. <laughs> Well, it's many years ago now, but uh, the, the whole thing was, uh, was uh, so great. And it was so great to, to come out of Norway and to, to learn people more about the Sami culture. And um, the, the whole Oscar party was a great, great party. Uh, I remember me and uh, one of these guys uh, sitting together talking about the... the the, um, the Sami um, traditional suits, and he also liked it, so we actually ordered one. Wow. <laughs> and finally, do you guys have a message for all the Europeans who will be watching MGP this weekend? We hope that you love our song as much yep. as we do, and we hope that we can give you a good show Absolutely. on Saturday. And yeah. Wishing you so much luck. Thank you and see you later. Bye. Bye 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 b